this must be the prettiest beach in Juba. Okay, so we just arrived at the beach and we managed to park right next to it. So there was a bonus to waking the children up so early this morning. I don't feel as guilty anymore. So yeah, it only took us about an hour to get here, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing weekend traffic. I'm so happy that it didn't take long. And actually on the way we checked um, how busy the beach was and it said very busy. <laughs> I was like, no, not again. This morning we got up early, drove to the beach, so excited, only to find the most ridiculously long queue ever. But it isn't, it isn't that bad. I'm sure it will be later, but right now at 7am, it's pretty good. So the boys have just changed into their swimmers. As you can see, they've got their armbands on, sun cream smothered, and we're gonna jump in the water. Oh, Vin Vin is so hot and sweaty already. <laughs> Let's do this. Their feet touch the water. Yeah. We were just like laughing. We actually ended up spending nearly five hours on the beach. The boys were in their element, running into the ocean. <laughs> Swimming, playing with the water. They worked very hard with their spades. They had a job they believed they needed to do and it turns out that they are hard working boys because they were not giving up despite <laughs> despite the waves coming and uh, destroying whatever they made thank you and alex has left the umbrella here so yes we have had the most amazing day it is sweltering hot there are barely any clouds in the sky just a few little wispy ones so there's a lot of blue when you look up the sand here isn't like so fine there's lots of small rocks in it Finley is convinced they're asteroids from outer space cute the water was extremely clear and we bought our snorkels so that we could see if there were any fish. There are some clear fish along the rocks here, but they're camouflaged, so they're not so easy to see, but they're in big schools. We got Finley a snorkel mask, so today was his first time trying. Not super successful, but first time. It's okay, it's okay. Alex bought his paddle board and they both used it as a taxi. They had so much fun on the paddle board. Caleb, I am so proud of him because Caleb actually learned how to get onto the paddle board by himself today, stand up and paddle. I think for a five-year-old, that's pretty impressive. So he is very proud of himself. You can see he feels a real sense of achievement. A couple of years ago, he was scared to to even get on that thing. So I think that's pretty amazing. As the time has gone on in the last few hours, the beach is packed. Oh my goodness, the beach is, there's probably four or five layers of people, of tents and picnic blankets until you reach the ocean now. However close you thought you were gonna be to the ocean, you're not because someone is going to put their tent in front of you and you just have to accept that. Our picnic mat is absolutely huge. And Alex felt so guilty that we were taking up too much space, like prime retail space on the beach. He felt really guilty. So we had to fold our mat to allow other people to go closer to us. 
we actually bought a new umbrella for that goes in the cool box and oh my goodness it is tiny the umbrella is tiny compared to <laughs> compared to our picnic mat so it's like we had all this space but we were like all huddled under this tiny 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 space it was ridiculous this must be the prettiest beach in Geelong very very small most people will just park on the street here or there's a car park nearby and they rent these shades but the water is extremely clear as you can see it's surrounded by mountains so it is gorgeous it's just a small public beach honestly i don't know what's going on here alex took the car and said that he's just gonna drive around the block and come back for me i saw him <laughs> drive past me and just kept driving so now i have to walk in the heat and try to find him oh there he is i thought he'd left me here in this heat in my opinion that Uluan Haitan is the best beach in Geelong for multiple reasons the only downfall is that it is far too crowded so i would recommend going um, on a weekday or very early in the morning okay before you go i wanted to give you a quick update on my premium italian leather teddy blake bag i was gifted so a few of you have been asking how it has held up and i have to say really well it's usually full of extremely heavy books so it's definitely got strength as you can see everything is still in perfect condition all the zippers work just fine the stitching is in perfect nick and i promise i have been using it i've been using it very often so they say it stands the test of time and it really does right now they are having a 4th of July sale where there's up to 70% off so you can check out the website and if you use the code TBMAMALUCY30 you can get $30 off any order so go over there check it out and yeah I really recommend it so far so good <laughs> Caleb are you gonna sing to us? <laughs> okay so thanks for watching everybody don't forget you can click like you can share you can subscribe and you can ring bells yeah and ring bells there's only one bell so <laughs> goodbye we are all pretty tired I want to guess who's the most tired oh <laughs> <laughs> that boy played too hard yeah bye bye Goodbye. Bye. Oh.